What motivated me to join this program was the magnitude of the challenges. Challenges that were far-ranging, technical, technological, and organizational. The A350 is the first plane to use composites so extensively. More than 50% of the plane is made of carbon composites. We needed to ramp up production very quickly, following a very short development cycle for a project of this size, which involved dozens and dozens of partners around the world. We had to develop new methods, which were radically different from those used on the A380. For example, using the 3D Experience platform, manufacturing, engineering and engineering can now collaborate on the same digital mock-up, which includes all the required elements for manufacturing. For the A350 and for management of the digital mock-up and the design, we used Dassault System solutions. The Dassault System solutions we used include Katia for the structure, system installation, composites, electricity, and tubing. Eliminating 2D drawings enabled us to cut 50% of the time needed to update the electrical installation plans. VPM Inovia was the unified data reference for all of our designers. Without VPM Inovia, partners needed several days to exchange information. With VPM Inovia, data is synchronized in only a few minutes. Daily, 4,000 people around the world use these tools and 85% of them are outside of Airbus. Delmia was used to prepare manufacturing activities and Simulia for realistic nonlinear stress analysis on the wings. Thanks to the 3D Experience platform, we were able to drive the transformation of our processes. For this program, the partnership between Airbus and Dassault System was critical. We had to scale the tools to support this program. We had to become more efficient and to develop new functionalities. The link between the Dassault System and Airbus teams was very strong. The collaborative aspect was, indeed, an essential part of the program. One of the most significant outcomes was the exceptional quality of the A350 design, with very little change requests from the manufacturing to the engineering. The A350's maiden flight was a total success with an exceptional level of maturity. Now our objectives are to accelerate production ramp-up, to deliver the 700 planes already on the Airbus order books and to have more. When we develop the next version, the 1000, the digital mock-up will prove to be an extraordinary asset because it will enable us to accelerate development of the new plane. I believe that we are just beginning to benefit from all the advantages presented by this digital mock-up. So now let us uh, look out. Uh, you have uh, two pictures here. So this is what a Siglet design model. Now, in academia or in a design department, so they are going to fall for this position. First, they are going to find out a recognition of needs, so based on the market survey, as well as a need from the society, as well as a need from customer. So then they are going to form a definition for the particular problem. 
once they form a de definition so then they will go for synthesize that means they will start uh, the analyzing the problem and they will start collecting the informations and uh, the required parameters as well as the required parts to execute that particular problem then they will start analyzation so they will go for analysis and optimization analysis in analysis what will they they will check every component or every part its reliability as well as its operating as well as its conditions so whether it is going to satisfy the required condition or not then they will go for optimization so optimization uh, means it just uh, reducing the selected component whether it is suitable even if it is suitable whether can you go for alteration in that selected part let us take an example optimization so you have a gate of 25 teeth okay now you want to operate it so now 25 teeth is a required one then you need to go for a material here optimization so for there we need to go for a higher strength material or lower strength material particularly for that application okay. once analysis and optimization is done then you go for evaluation so whether the selected component or selected parts or incorporated uh, mechanisms are going to be working as required or not if the evaluation is done and if you got the result as we expected then you go for presentation of the design but in industry what happens so particularly in terms of uh, the cat that's what uh, how the uh, big industries are going to perform this uh, production as well as analysis as well as uh, the uh, consideration of the problems to get the output now all these steps are same here you just observe recognition of a need is there definition of problem is there synthesis is there analysis and optimization is there evaluation is there as well as presentation of design is there but so now this is what uh, the theoretical base here so to execute it one nowadays you are using some computers Okay, you are using software. So how you are going to get those, and how you are going to analyze? Okay. Now look out here. You have a geometric modeling. You have a engineering analysis. You have a design review and evaluation. Then you have a automated drafting. Is it right? Now all these things are going to be performed using the computers. That is what computing systems. Okay. Now the design. What you meant as a design software, it is going to come in this category. Okay? It is going to come in this category. Okay, that is what uh, geometric modeling. You need to use a software for analysis. You need to use a software. Design review and evaluation. You need to use a software. Then automated drafting. You need to use a software. Now let us take an example. Now you are going to study the cat here. Okay. Now you are going to study the cat. So now CAT software can be used to make a modeling, can be used to make analysis, can be used to go for evaluation and you can go for creation of the drafting. Now in comparison, as you studied some of you, as you studied the solid edge software in your academic. So particularly for part C in academic what you have done you have created a screw job okay you have made a modeling okay so then you made an assembly okay you have made an assembly then you have gone for automated drafting in a similar way industries are going to following some steps here let us take one the example you have a nut and bolt here you have a nut and bolt so you need to model it then you need to analyze it so based on the forces you are going to apply over it okay so then whether it is going to satisfy or not if it is going to satisfy then you can go for the optimization otherwise uh, you can send it for uh, design review and evaluation process once if it is evaluated then you go for automated drafting 
Now this is what happens in industry. Okay? This is what happens in industry. So now you can start your career purely for modeling purpose, or purely for analysis purpose, purely for optimization purpose, or purely for drafting purpose. You are going to get a lot of uh, uh, divisions or branches of in the industry. So now I'll start the CATIA introduction. So I just uh, kept the title as uh, the exploring of the CATIA here. So now CATIA is a software, so which is developed uh, by Desert Systems. Okay, so it is an European uh, uh, country. It is based in European country that is in uh, France. Okay, so the CATIA stands for uh, the Computer Applications for uh, Three-Dimensional Interactive Applications. Okay, so now the this is a brief about the company at Dazzle Systems, it is in Europe, so traded as uh, Euronext and industry is used in CAD, CAM, CAE, a PLM. So this is just a brief over the uh, Dazzle Systems. So now what are the actual projects, uh, products you are going to come across uh, in this particular Dazzle Systems, okay? So now you have a CATIA, you have a SOLIDWORKS, you have a INNOVA, you have a DILEMA, okay? So you have a CATIA here, you have a SOLIDWORKS, INNOVA, DILEMA, SIMULIA, GIVOIA, XLEAD, 3D VIEW, BIOVIA, NETVIBES, 3D EXIT, and Sentry PLM. So these are uh, the different uh, products by this uh, dozen systems. Okay? So if you want to study purely the modeling, you can refer either CATIA or SOLIDWORKS. If you want to become uh, very familiar with uh, the analysis, if a component is subjected to different type of loads, what are the stresses it's going to get, whether the selected part is uh, suitable or not. You can study all those things using a similar software. Okay. Now the minimum requirement, uh, system requirements here, it is an Intel i5 processor or i7 processor, and you need a dedicated graphics card here. So that means uh, as you need the graphics is a more here, you need a graphics card because to get the clearer picture of your model. To get the clearer picture of model, so you need a graphics card. Okay? Even though you can uh, use uh, integrated motherboard uh, graphics chipset, so you won't get uh, the clarity or clearer. If you go on for zooming, you may struck. Okay, if you are not using a graphics card. Minimum requirement of RAM is 4 GB of RAM. At 10 GB is a more. It is sufficient. Uh, so means it is an uh, satisfied. If 8 GB is there, it will be satisfied. And you need a minimum 10 GB free hard uh, space here. This is what a system requirement. So now, CATA V5 serves the basic design task by providing different workbenches. So you are going to get a different type of workbenches here. So as we are purely mechanical, so we are going to for a mechanical a design okay mechanical design so on that mechanical design you are going to get a different workbenches so now workbench is a defined as a specific environment it consists of a set of tools which allows the user to perform systematic design tasks in a particular area that means as you studied in a solid edge you've got a drafting you have a modeling you have assembly Similarly, you are going to get a different workbenches here. So let us look out. 
basic design workbenches in CATIA v5. First one is what a part design workbench. Okay. Second is wireframe and surface design workbench, assembly design workbench, and a drafting workbench here. Now we are going to start here. Uh, now I'm going to cover in this course as a part design workbench, assembly design workbench, and drafting workbench. So now this is what uh, it needs uh, more time to analyze the surface. Okay, surface uh, uh, design. But if you look, if you went into the surface design workbench, you may feel so it has uh, only some commands. But understanding of the uh, nature, so how the surface has to be designed, so it needs uh, more time. One example I can quote for this uh, surface design workbench is. Uh, the body cover of an uh, or the bonnet of an car here you are going to get a different uh, curvatures you are going to create that particular uh, body part which is made of a seat metal so it is done with the help of surface design workbench right so i am going to cover part design workbench assembly design workbench and drafting workbench okay so let us look out. Uh, it has a part design is what it is a workbench is a parameter and feature based environment in which you can create solid models, right? So the solid models are going to be created from part design workbench. Just like you have made a part, okay, in solid edge. You made some part in solid edge. It is the same platform or same model here part design so as i said wireframe and surface design workbench is purely for uh, design of the surface structures or surface model next you have a assembly workbench here okay. assembly workbench is used to assemble the components uh, using the assembly constraints here okay. using the assembly constraints so assembly constraints uh, you have seen those are done solid uh, edge so i think they can remember what are the constraints they are used uh, like uh, align concentric mate uh, uh, parallel surface uh, tangent okay and you have a two type of assembly approach so you can just uh, leave the, these two here okay. next one is a drafting so once you completed your model or your assembly you can drag that one to in a drafting mode okay so in that you have a two types of uh, drafting techniques here one is a generative drafting another one is an interactive drafting so generative drafting is what so conversion of model conversion of model okay to drafting this is what a generative and interactive model if you need to create a drafting you need to create a drafting or you need to create a drawing by using commands here by using commands okay. so just like your user commands uh, in uh, solid edge that is what uh, for sections of solids as well as for uh, orthographic views similarly you can use line command circle rectangle trim offset all those commands as you can use in interactive drafting here okay so now this is what a brief introduction about the software okay now i'll go for uh, the CATIA software okay So to load, uh, once you click on the CATIA V5R20 icon, uh, to load it, uh, it needs minimum uh, one to three minutes because it has to synchronize all the files which are there in a program files to execute uh, the program program here. So otherwise, if you want to 
I think uh, starting of uh, software is no problem here. You can start from uh, start button, okay? Like here, start. Then you go for uh, the Dazzle system folder here. Okay, here, oh, wait. So here it is a cat, yeah? You can just go for here, okay? You can click on this icon. Otherwise, you just double click on desktop icon. You are going to get a Katia V5R20. Now I am using a release 20 here. Fifth version release 20. So in market, you are going to get a different type of releases here. Okay. Okay. Now this is what a window. Starting window of uh, the Katia here. Okay. Now, as I said, you are going to get different type of uh, workbenches here. So now we will go for mechanical design. So in mechanical design, you are going to get a part design. Okay. Next, you are going to get an assembly design. You have a sketcher. So you can use this sketcher for in any mode here. Either you can use it in a drafting mode. Uh, sorry, you can use it in only for a, a part design. Okay. Sometimes you can use it for in a surface design also. Okay. Now similarly, you have a different type of workbenches here. Product functional tolerancing and annotations, weld design, mold tooling design, structural design, 2D layout for 3D design, here a drafting, okay. So composites grid design, core and cavity design, healing assistance, functional model, okay. Sheet metal design, sheet metal production, composites design, wireframe and surface design, generative sheet metal design, and functional tolerancing and annotations. Now this is what only for mechanical design. So similarly you have for uh, a different type of uh, domains, okay. Now digital mockup, analysis and simulations is there, okay. Now let us go for uh, mechanical. I will select here uh, the part design, okay. I will go for part design. Okay. Now these are the menus. Okay. File, edit, view, insert, tools, windows, and help. Okay. So now this is what a workbench. So on which workbench presently you are here? You are here presently on part design workbench. Okay. So now this is what a standard toolbar. This is what a standard toolbar. So now this is related to view toolbar. So how we can view the, the drawn object. Okay. So then you have some uh, measurement options here. So then you have some rendering options here. So now this is what uh, axis system. Then you have uh, some uh, uh, dimensions. Okay. Next, the toolbar what you are viewing here. This is related to part design. This toolbar is related to part design. Okay. So you can start any part using uh, these icons. Okay. Let us go for uh, the comparison. So I think uh, if we're going for comparison, so we're going to get uh, more clearer. Is it right? Shall I go for comparison? Now this is what a pad, okay. This is what shaft, okay. This is what rim. So we have a solid combine here. So we're going to get options there. Solid combine, unite, and all those things. So next you have an uh, multi-section solids here. Okay? Now this pad is similar to the protrusion option for you have used in solid edge. Okay? What you have used in solid edge pad it is similar to protrusion so we have a shaft here but in solid edge you have used reward protrusion okay we have used reward protrusion so next rib is there so i think rib is the same in both uh, solid edge as well as uh, the catia 
Next, solid combine is there. So, solid combine. So, you may get some options here. That's called as a Boolean operations like uh, unite, intersect, and interface. So, next, uh, multi section solid. So, you are going to get a swept in a solid edge. Okay. Now, this portion is what uh, it is in planes. Okay, we are going to get a different plane here. X Y plane. Okay, as the top view. Y Z plane with the front. Z X plane. Either you can select it as a side view. Okay. I can switch somewhere missing. Okay. okay, it's there. Okay. So let us take an example. Now I want to make a now. A rectangle block here okay a rectangle block so you can start using a sketcher directly here okay you can start using sketcher Okay, you can start using a sketcher. You can draw first rectangle, then you can go for a pad. Or you can select first the future based uh, command. Now I'll go for pad here. Okay, I'll select it. Now we'll get a dialog box here. Pad a definition dialog box. So 
So what is A? It is based on dimensions. Length of that pad is 20 mm. Okay. So now selection is not there. Okay. Selection is not there. Now to draw the rectangle, you need to click on this sketch icon. Okay. Then you select any one plane here. Now once you enter into the future based uh, options, you are going to get a drawing toolbar activation here. That is what a profile toolbar. So profile toolbar, you just observe here, if you have a profile, you can draw the lines continuously here. This is what a drawing of rectangle. You can just uh, click on this chevron, you are going to a different options here. Okay? Different option. So rectangle with orientations, parallelogram and uh, the elongated hole, the curvature hole and keyhole profile, you have a hexagon. So we have a centered rectangle, so centered parallelogram. Next, if you click here, you just look out here, circle, 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 arc, arc. Next, you have a curve here, you are going to get a two types of curves. So one is spline, another one is connect here. Next here, so this is what uh, ellipse, so parabola, so hyperbola, okay, then conic. Next, this is what a simple line comma, so line, extension line, so, so infinite, so by tangent line, so bisecting line, okay, line normal to the curve. Then you have axis here, okay, you have an axis. Next, you have a point, okay, multiple points you can create, okay, you can create multiple points. Now, I'll go for a profile here, I'll go for profile. So now for this one, you just click any one start point, okay, you can just uh, place, okay, now I'm going to draw an uh, 100 by 60 rectangle here. Okay, I have drawn a rectangle 100 by 60. Now to come out from the sketcher, you click on this exit button here, okay, exit workbench. Now you look out, you have a block. Now whether you need to go for a extension of this block, symmetry out the selected plane. Then you go for mirror extent here. You can just look out here. This is what rectangle what you drawn earlier. Now it has been extended front, okay, as well as extended back. Now if you remove here, it's going to extend on only one direction. That is in forward z direction. If you reverse it, it is going to extend backward direction. So let us go for mirror extent. So how much distance or how much length you want to extend? I want to extend it 40 mm. Just check out here. Now, if you click on OK, it's going to create it. If you want to any modification, you just go on preview. Now, it's, if it is a OK, then you say OK. Otherwise, if you want to modify, you can modify the dimensions here. Example now, instead of 40, I want to go for only 50. 50. Preview. Right. So we have left some uh, basic options uh, in this uh, graphics window. So when we start doing some models, we'll see one by one. Okay. I think uh, introduction is enough. I think introduction is enough. So I will close here. So today I'm going to close this uh, session. And if you have any queries, if you have any queries, you just uh, put in chat box. So those who have a laptop, try to download this uh, software. We don't have any queries.